And welcome back, everybody. Uh, now we're at the point where things are going to get a little bit more exciting. So first, we are going to meet up with our favorite character, Lodi. All right, bud, where are you hiding? Come on, we know you want to come up. Hey, what up, Lodi? Well, he's the uh, he's the best character because like he uh, he tells me exactly what's going on. Oh, why don't you maintain my ass, GLaDOS? I mean, it's a nice ass. Ooh. Look at that, it's right, like, my, uh, anti-gravity hurdy boots. Yeah. Good times. Oh, hello. How you doing, bud? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna destroy you at some point, GLaDOS. Not that that's any foreshadowing or anything, of course. So long. And so long to you, too. Uh-oh. None of that, then. How about instead I drop this block on you? And, you know what? I feel like dropping a block on you, too, bud. Okay, so we got some more... Ooh, ooh jeez, yeah. Prefer not to die here, so... We will drop a block on you. And while we're at it, I'm gonna drop a block on you. No, I drop my own ass on you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, things are getting a little hot here. Let's uh. So I'll relax, see who's dropping blocks on who, or who's shooting at who. Oh, you bastard! I got killed. Wow, first one. I didn't even know that that extra guy was back there. Stop shooting, guys. Come on. It's not nice. My mom said that if you can't play nice, that, that, that you don't get to play with me anymore. Come on, guys. Stop being mean. And I will snipe your ass. And I will take this back. Thank you very much. And now I just need to check and see who is going to die next. Oh, it's gonna be you, isn't it? Oh, it's gonna be me if I'm not fucking careful. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's. Uh... I wonder if this radio will knock him out. If I'm just like doink. Oh my god, it did! Awesome. <laughs> All right. Now this is where I screwed up last time because there was a hidden guy, and so I'm gonna do it nice and easy this time. Just, you know, kill this auto-targeting robot the good old-fashioned way. Like we used to do back in the 90s. Everything was nice and simple. And how about a little of that for you? And how about a little of that for you? <laughs> and whoa! Jeez, yeah. They don't... Oh, that was accidental, but kind of awesome. I'll take it. <laughs> you know what? You're coming with me, Buster. It's not just enough to knock you over. I'm going to emancipate your ass. Alright, 
Oh, <laughs> I sent him to Android Hell. <laughs> Poor little Android. He was just doing his job. All he was doing was, you know, trying to kill me in a hellish hail of bullets, but he wasn't really so bad. Alright. Oh, that makes me mad. It's a camera that I can't knock off the wall. Make me mad. Oh, and another one. Alright. <laughs> it seriously just bonked me on the head and injured me. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, this one. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you, and in fact cannot speak. Okay. Okay. Oh, that makes me feel so much healthier. There's a All right. Let's uh how'd you? Okay. So there's one. And let's uh go for two. I got to find out how to operate the second thing. Oh. I need my pal, uh, cube. Alright. And then what I can do is just stand at the right angle here and do that nice and smooth like that. Alright, now we're to the part that, if I remember correctly, is kind of a pain in the ass because... I end up having to walk all over creation just to, uh, just to get this thing, so. Go up here, and see now I gotta head all the way back here. All the way. The thing just fucking shoot at me. And then, whoa. Yeah, look out for you, bud. Alright, so I shot portal one there. And now I just gotta walk all the way back, all over creation, to here. And shoot portal two there. I think the energy ball was trapped there, so now I just have to wait for it to shoot out a new one. And the second this thing goes by me... Yeah, we can get that. So now that all three of those are activated, we bring our trusty handy-dandy companion cube. And now it'll allow us to jump across this gap. Or, you know, it would if I wasn't terrible. Okay, let's try this again. So, we're gonna jump across this here gap. And go over here. There we go, just as easy as pie. You did it. The weighted companion cube certainly I did, I done did it. Oh, the old intelligence incinerator, eh? Alright. Alright. Bye-bye, cube. You your faithful <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna click on it, that one with GLaDOS. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, uh, I, I euthanized my cube quickly, but... 
what are you gonna do? Just stand around and not euthanize your cute? Hey, Lodi! I mean, I, I, I think it's, uh, it's, you know, the humane thing to do with the companion cube. You know, it's, existence is suffering to those things, you know, so. Uh, so, I mean, hey, I guess next time we're gonna, uh, do some more puzzles.